How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about Kegel exercises for beginners for men. So I have got a lot of questions from my subscribers saying, you know what, I just can't feel my muscles working. Like, how do you do these Kegel exercises? What's going on? So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to actually perform them because there has been a little bit of misconception going on the internet. So if you're just starting your Kegel exercise, you're just learning how to do them. Like, what are the benefits? Like, why do people want to even do Kegel exercises in the beginning? Well, for guys, the number one reason why they want to do them is to last longer in bed. They they look at all these articles. They think to themselves, oh, like, you know, I'm, just, I'm not lasting 40 minutes. Like, most guys don't last 40 minutes, you guys. Most guys, the average guy lasts about five minutes, um, five to ten minutes, whatever. But... A lot of people think they need to last super, super long. And, and that's fine. You can last longer because you can actually train the muscle to last longer in bed, believe it or not. Some people think, oh, if I last this time, you know, I'm, I'm destined for that time. Hell no. Your biceps, you want to get bigger biceps? Guess what? You train your biceps. You want to get stronger Kegel muscles? You want to get stronger pelvic floor muscles? Guess what? You perform your Kegel exercises. That is how you get them better. And guess what? That will lead to a performance enhancement. Anyone that I've talked to that have been doing Kegel exercises, you do get results in bed. Trust me on this. You will get results as simple as that. Why? Because you are training the muscle. You are making it so that you will last longer. It's as simple as that. So let's get that out of the way right now. It will improve your stamina in bed. Second thing. People talk about limp dicks all the time, you guys, all the time. They're like, oh, like, like I want it to be bigger, better, whatever. Guess what? Kegel exercises is another reason to perform that. And trust me, your girlfriend will love this. Trust me on this. So that's the second reason. First, second reason why most guys want to do it. Another reason why, in my opinion, is like the best reason, like, like performance, all that stuff, whatever. The bladder that's the third reason it can actually help you control your bladder so if you guys want to hold your bladder a little bit longer if you're one of those guys that's like oh every two hours so got to pee i really didn't drink that much liquids i think i have like an overactive bladder a weak bladder a nervous bladder whatever you want to call it by performing these kegel exercises your bladder will be extremely strong trust me on this so you can go a long time without having to urinate and in my opinion that's one of like the best things ever imagine not having to go to the bathroom as often not because you feel it just because you don't need to because your muscles are so strong like like it's crazy like a lot of people talk about your chest your biceps but imagine having all those three things better imagine lasting longer and better having a harder dick and three your bladder is crazy. You can go like five, six hours, whatever, without having to use the restroom. That's amazing. Just from doing Kegel exercise? Are you kidding me? Okay, so now let's get into the controversy. A lot of people say they cannot feel their Kegel muscles at all. Like they just cannot do it. So here's my tip for you. Very easy tip. But I'll go over another tip. I'll go over two tips. The first tip is what I tell most people. Then if this doesn't work, I go over another tip that's even easier. So the first tip is simply urinate. So let's say you haven't pissed in four hours. Piss. Then about five seconds into your pee, stop that urination. Stop it. You feel the muscles working when you do that. That is your pelvic floor. Those. That is how you perform a Kegel exercise, by squeezing that muscle. But here's the thing. People will try to replicate that and they'll be like, well, I can't really do it. Another thing too is that you do not practice stopping to urinate. That is extremely bad for you. It can cause bladder problems, a whole lot of other issues. So you don't want to practice uh, stopping urinating all the time. Some people may be like, well, I'll, I'll just stop urinating midway all the time and that'll develop my muscles. It doesn't work that way, believe it or not. It, it just doesn't. So you have to do it when you're not urinating. So how do you do it? Again, you try to feel that muscle. But what people do incorrect is they try to do it when they're standing up. If you haven't been performing Kegel exer exercises for a long time, if you try doing them standing up, it's gonna be nearly impossible to feel that muscle. So what do you do? This is what most people don't do. Lay down, like lay on a couch, lay on a bed. It makes it way easier to feel those muscles, hands down. Much easier to feel those muscles. It just does you guys. I don't know why, just makes it feel 
it makes it easier. It's as simple as that. Okay, now some people are saying, okay, I'm laying down, but I, I still can't feel that muscle. What's another way to do it? Here's another way. What you want to do is practice holding in your gas. So if you're super gas, let, let's say you're trying to hold in a fart or something. You don't want this hot chick to know. So you kind of like squeeze your butt a little bit and you're like, oh, I can't let it in. That's your pelvic floor muscles working, guys. That's how you perform a Kegel exercise. That's all it is. That's all you're doing is trying to hold in a fart. That's it. For some of you out there, you're still like, oh my God, I don't know what that feels like. Have a can of chickpeas. Guaranteed. Eat one can of chickpeas, the whole can, 500 mils. After about six, seven hours of eating that can of chickpeas, you will have gas. I guarantee you this. You will have gas, 100%. And um, what will happen is that you will try to fart. You'll fart like crazy. But here's the thing. Try to hold in that fart. Then you will know instantly what that muscle is. Hands down, you will then know what that muscle is. So that's what you guys can do. And it doesn't have to be chickpeas, any lentils, any beans, stuff like that. Those are gassy foods. The reason why is because the chickpeas actually ferment in your stomach and they don't get digested all the time. So it makes you extremely gassy if you have a lot of them. And having a whole can is a ton. I eat half a can of chickpeas and I get super gassy, you guys. So that's one way that you can do it. People want to know about exercises. I have recommended a few exercises in my older videos. I will put a link at the end of the video if you want to check out my older pelvic floor uh, exercises that I give you. I, I show you guys um, the, the isolated wall mount and then I show you uh, the lunge and then the just the body weight squat. These can help as well you guys. All of these are good exercises but the main way to really contract your pelvic floor is by doing the Kegel exercises is by feeling your pelvic floor muscles. That is how you do them. And again, lay on a bed. Don't try to do it standing up. Don't try to do it um, sitting on a chair. You got to be laying down and then try to hold in a fart or stop urinating midway and then feel that mus muscle and then go try it. You guys, very simple. If you still cannot do it, um, have a can of chickpeas, any kind of gassy food, wait a little bit. When you're about to fart, hold it in. That's your pelvic muscles working. As simple as that. People want to know right now, what's the rep set? How many times a day should I be doing this stuff? Well, the, the good thing about Kegel exercises, once you get good at them, once you built that muscle up, and again, it's just like push-ups, you guys. It's just like bench press. You will get better at it. You will be able to last longer, hold that muscle longer. Um, so um, how many times can you do it? There really is no limit, but what I recommend when you first start is I recommend holding for three seconds, relax, hold for three seconds, relax. Do that about 10 times, 10 to, do that 20 times, you guys. Do it 20 times. Do that in the morning, do that at lunch, do that before you go to bed. Or you can do it just in the morning and at night, whatever is more convenient to you. And that's all you have to do. You do that for a longer period of time. You can go a little bit longer. You could try four seconds, then relax for four seconds. Go for four seconds, relax for four seconds. Another thing that you can do is like kind of an all out thing. We'll hold it for like 15 seconds, then relax, hold it for 15 seconds. You're just doing different variation. Now, some of you people may be thinking, wow, this is dumb, like whatever. If you think like that, you think negatively, you're not gonna develop anything. You have to have an open mindset going in, like with anything. A lot of people used to think that certain exercises, blah, 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 were stupid, science proven, stuff like that. Anything is possible if you open your mind to it, you'd be positive about it. If you go into here thinking, this isn't gonna work, blah, 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 Mr. Negative, it's not gonna work. Trust me on this, people have been getting a ton of results and it's science based. That's how, that's how the stuff happens in your body is based on your pelvic floor muscles. People are wondering like, wow, like I'm only lasting 30 seconds in bed. You have the shittiest pelvic floor muscles in the world. You strengthen that. Oh yeah, you can last 10 minutes, 15 minutes. A lot of it too is psychological, guys. You go into thinking, oh, I'm not gonna last long, not gonna last long, guess what happens? Boom, just like that. Just like if you think about something, if you think about, oh, I'm gonna drop this plate, 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 what's gonna happen? Probably gonna drop this plate. You don't even think about it, guess what? Nothing's gonna happen. So psychologically, you gotta go into it not caring, not giving a crap. That's why most guys perform better when they have had a lot of beers because they simply do not give two shits. They're out of their mind. They're in a different world. They do not care. Then they're like, 
wow, I wonder how I last so long when I'm on beer. Because you don't care, you guys. It's as simple as that. So starting to rant now, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Please uh, comment below. I want to hear what you guys think of the video. Um, think of the exercises. If you guys are having any more problems, comment below again, and I will help you guys out. I will make more videos if you need me to. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Please share the video and like it. Thanks for watching.